Uh, <laughs> I'll take the therapy, it's, it's fine. But uh, they're just so much more, like we're all Disney addicts here, right? I mean, like that sort of thing just was part and parcel of who we are and why we're here. Like Stitch technically qualifies, right? An alien pretending to be a doll, but look, a lot, half the people here are just organisms pretending to be a dog, so like we're, we should be, that qualifies. And I just sort of, this is my family. I found it, or on my own. It's litter and broken, but still good. It kind of sounds like me or my psyche on a good day. But, uh, yeah, the, and if, if this other thing just keeps on going, you imagine sort of a Davy Jones, not quite as soft and fluffy as a lot of us might like, but imagine something along the lines of sort of, do you feel that? Do you feel that dog? Sounds like I'm getting grilled down at the station again. Which I'm not allowed to talk about until the case is settled, so don't ask. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we just keep on rolling through that sort of thing. I don't know when, speaking of you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, and they're playing things like Liar's Dice. I was playing that with a couple of friends a while ago. And one of my buddies, Dan, I sort of just snuck up behind him, and he was trying to roll a specific number, and he's like, Hey, Dan, I got up something funny in 24. <laughs> 25. Holy shit, dude, I did not expect that sound to come out of your face. <laughs> Does one just count as animals, technically? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Maybe. I, I would be sort of remiss if I didn't bring up one of my favorite himbos from the entire Disney franchise. I think mean, we've all seen The Emperor's New Groove, right? Mm. Like, some people think that was after the Disney Renaissance. Like, no, no, no. The Disney Renaissance died with that film. Like, like, that was the good stuff, and then everything after that was a train wreck for a while. But imagine, you know, I, I love Kronk so much, like the ultimate himbo. I can, like, I sort of model myself after him a little bit. You can imagine something along the lines of just, like, I got to meet Telephone yesterday, which was phenomenal. If, if anybody here gets a chance, she's an absolute sweetheart. She does a pretty good flex herself. But, uh, Kronk speaks squirrel, which translates very loosely to a lot of telephone squeaks. So there was a bit of a dialogue overlap there. So, uh, in the middle. Squeaker, squeak, squeaking, squeak, squeak. <laughs> uh, he doesn't want to talk to you right now. <laughs>